Hello everyone, Dan here from SurePT. Take a look at what John and I ran into. This entire river became one big moving pile of ice. This basically happens every year. We just help the process speed up a little bit. It's been fairly warm weather and it would have busted up naturally here a little bit later. So as we drive to the side of the river, you can start to see that there's water on the shore. Well, that's happening because as that water, that ice behind us is starting to break up, the water level in the river is arising. That's crazy. <laughs> You know, it's been a couple of weeks since I got to see this video. I hope you are as lucky as I am in being able to see it on a large screen. There, there is nothing like this I have ever seen in my life. Those chunks of ice right there are three feet tall. Coming up here is my first popular video that I ever published on TikTok, and it was of John. At the time of this taping, there was over 550,000 views. First you get to see the version with uh, the GoPro, and then you get to see it with my iPhone. Now that's riding, people! That is riding! Woohoo! And right here is the version that was posted on TikTok. Unbelievable. We were sitting down here when you guys were up there, and one of them ruts was the tree stumps was standing up. I said, Holy shit, what are they doing out of them? I thought something was standing out of the tree. Oh. <laughs> so, what John was referring to is when this you know, river of ice is coming down, it's acting essentially as a glacier did. In the areas where the water is shallow, uh, it is definitely changing the terrain. Unbelievable what Mother Nature can do. You know, as the ice breaks up in northern Wisconsin, uh, it really has a tendency to kind of dam up like we've seen before. And not on this particular river, because this is the first time that I've been here, but in areas that's very close to this area. You can go in the summer and you can actually go and see damage that's taken place inside of the woods from flooding from ice dams and ice buildings. This winter was not extremely cold, so we didn't have a lot of ice. This actually is benefiting everything a lot nicer because we're moving in a controlled manner, just not this huge day. And it's just helping things along a little bit. John can really pop up real nice. Again, the front of his tires are studded, the front of my tires are not studded. I can spin around a lot better than he can, uh, but he can jump up on the ice better than I. The unfortunate part is for him is those studs are just like kind of snowmobile studs. They're carbides. They will dig into anything and put so you can watch out. Look at that back tire up in the air. John is a jumping. So is these we kind of loosen up the ice is the way that I would put it up on the side of the river as it's rising right now. Uh, you're going to notice that things are starting to change. The 
you look closely here, you can tell that that water is much higher. And it's making some of the ice start to kind of rise. If I do it all over again, I would try to set up a camera on the shore to be able to see much better than having it in the shirt. That would kind of be a challenge though too, if the water would have to get really high and it would pop up. You can see the cracks going on on the ice right there, so it is starting to break up. See that how there's water popping up there a little bit from it going up in the air? It's starting. It's starting. So fast forward a little bit, a little bit farther downstream. Uh, now moving back upstream, unbelievable how you can just pop back up on the ice for the shirt. Granted, I don't have studs, but I can still do it. Not quite as fast as John, but I am successful. get the opportunity to see this picture on the computer screen. Granted, your eyes are probably a hell of a lot better than mine, but look at I'm stopped and the entire river is moving. Busting up ice, as you can kind of see, probably. Try to focus that in. The ice is moving at a fairly good clip on the river that we're on. If you can see that. You know what they call that, don't you? Chirping. This was just a mesmerizing experience. Obviously it doesn't do it justice seeing in the computer screen versus being there real life, but driving on a huge iceberg that is moving at three miles an hour is not something that you do in like Florida or Texas or Mexico. Brazil, Colombia. Well, we've reached the end of another video. As always, hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you did by clicking that like button or throwing a comment out there. Please subscribe. I'm trying to keep this thing going. Take care.